Hi friends! It is Monday and it's a little bit later than I normally do this, but I figured might as well change it up a bit because I can and because we're moving into Scorpio season this week and things get a little extra freaky during Scorpio season. Um, it's a great time for doing some deeper shadow work and for really um, confronting some parts of yourself that don't always get a chance to come out and play. So I invite y'all all as we exit Libra season, which seeks balance and move into the depths of Scorpio season. Like it's okay to upset the balance a bit. And in fact, you'll make the most out of this time when you do let yourself go into some uncharted or not heavily explored territory. So have fun with that this week if possible and you know what sometimes it's not fun sometimes we go into these like deep dark places and it's it's not fun at all um in which case make sure you're scheduling extra care time good morning dana hi happy monday hi amy hi all oh there's a lot of y'all here today i wasn't even looking i was just thinking about scorpio season i did post a playlist for scorpio season two with my horoscopes this week so check that out it's on spotify um i love doing the playlist for each season so let's see what this week holds according to the cards i've been shuffling them up getting them ready here we go i'm gonna lay out three cards for the energy of the week one. Oh my god it's so perfect you don't know what it is yet but i see it two oh god. three yes okay here we go here we go are you ready i'm ready the first card is literally just what i was saying the two of pentacles reversed so normally when it's up right the two of pentacles is a card of finding balance of juggling things until they feel like yeah things feel a little balanced it's reversed it's saying flip that balance it's not gonna feel balanced right now you might be swinging between extremes you might feel on a total high one minute and down in the depths of despair the next embrace it be healthy with it seek you know support if needed but also like sometimes it's in the extremes we find parts of ourselves that are necessary for our continued expansion and evolution to stay integrated sometimes we have to reach further past our comfort zones past the boundaries we've previously set and like bring in something new and as we do that we do upset the balance of our life right but you're still, no matter which way this card is, you can't even tell if it's reversed or not. So there is, there's balance even in the imbalance. So that's what the beginning of the week is calling out. We're saying, Whoop! we're about to leave Libra season. So like, let's prepare for the extremes. Scorpio loves to explore extremes. It likes to play with power. It likes to invite out like triggered responses. So that's what we're having in the middle of the week right when the sun moves into scorpio on wednesday here we go hump day ten of swords and we've had this card a lot i don't know who out there of y'all i mean it's really all of us that's watching this but we're going through some stuff and we're not shying away from it right ten swords this is an ego death. This is the death of an identity, something you've been clinging to that's actually become something that pins you down. It's time to let it go. We're completing a stage in our own intellectual and belief-based development. So some belief or perspective has shifted. We're getting out of a thought pattern or an identity that has kept us from continuing to grow. And it might be a painful death. We might be having to face this week, especially as the sun moves into those scorpionic waters. It might sting. And so be prepared to be confronted with something that's either hard to face, hard to swallow, a secret being revealed, something like that. Some hidden truth that might be very vulnerable or embarrassing or unpleasant for you to experience and face within yourself might be coming up this week so there we go but as we wind the week down we have the eight of swords and the eight of swords do you see how she's blindfolded and she's she's enclosed by these swords but she's able to navigate if she trusts herself if she doesn't have to see she can feel her way through this she's not trapped 
right? Not pinned down. It's, oh, there might be some obstacles and I can feel them, but I can't be restricted or bound by these obstacles. She could navigate through this. So that's what we're being asked to do. And even her hands are bound, but it's very loose. So she feels a binding, but if she pushes against it, if she pushes past what she thinks the limit is, she will find that she's not, her hands are not tied and she can move the way she needs to, to navigate a tense situation. So we're going to be tested this week. Things are going to feel a little uncomfortable probably. And we're going to grow from it. And we're going to, if we can go within ourselves and like release and grieve and mourn and let go and just, just let it die off. Just face the pain, face the ugliness, face whatever it is that's getting triggered in you this week that's throwing your balance off. Go into it, go through it, and then you'll be able to navigate the obstacles or challenges in your way. Or whatever's keeping you from feeling confident in moving forward in the world with all of you, because you're awesome. Alrighty? So, that's this week. Have fun with ending one season and moving into the next. Halloween is coming. Uh, the veil is getting thinner. Be open. There are things that are able to be made known to us at this time that aren't always as easily available. Um, it is a time to honor our dead. It is a time to be more quiet and to be willing to look at things that our minds might normally reject. Enjoy your week and I'll see you next week. Bye.